Imagine, it's 2013, you just got home from school and a hard week of second grade. You plop your backpack down in your room, sit in front of the Windows XP computer your dad lets you use when he's not playing Warcraft, and open YouTube, this site that you and one of your friends were talking about under your breath during quiet reading time. And you're greeted with... I'm just gonna move out here and see what... There we go, look. Radiological alarm. Nuclear weapon arm, 10 seconds to go. Oh my god, what is gonna happen? What is going to happen? Probably lag, but um, what's what's? Oh my, oh my god, this is wow, wow, that is oh my god, that is insane. It's Minecraft, but not the Minecraft you're used to. It's modded. Someone's made new stuff for Minecraft and posted it online, and the YouTuber you're watching is showing it off. And oh man, does it look cool? You check the description of the video looking for a download, and you find a link to a forum page for the mod. It's called Or Spawn. You check it out, follow some shitty tutorial for installing it, and bam, for months, you're not playing your favorite game without your favorite mod. It feels magical. You're young, so you don't really understand the other big mods out there that are super technical with all their big multi part machines, but Or Spawn speaks to you with its simplicity. You don't know it now, but Or Spawn will become a core part of your fondest memories with Minecraft. <sighs> What a game. Imagine, it's 2024, and between some serious senioritis and worries about your future, you decide to sit down and take your mind off things by looking back at some of the old Minecraft YouTubers you used to watch. You haven't played Minecraft in years, but what the hell, it's a Saturday, nothing better to do today anyways. You look them up, name after name, this one's retired, this one's retired, this one went to jail for some reason, and he's also retired, but... It doesn't really matter. You're here for the good stuff. You go to one of their channels, you sort with their videos by oldest, and sink into your couch as you watch classic mod reviews and let's plays and reminisce about the simple times. After a while, you get bored. You're not who you used to be, so you're not really the target audience for these kinds of videos anymore. But, you decide you want to play around with some of the mods that you saw in these videos, starting with what felt like the biggest from its time, or spawn. You open up Google, type in the name, and... Oh! Oh, something's gone wrong. Or spawn is gone, it seems like, and in place of the old website is this. So what happened here? Where'd this piece of Minecraft's history go? Was it lost to time? Was the creator not proud of his work anymore and destroyed it all in a fit of greed and anger? Was it Beauty Killed the Beast guitar riff like my favorite movie, King Kong from 2005? Hmm? It's gotta be something weird like that. Old Minecraft mods go missing pretty often. Old legends of the modding scene like Clay Soldiers or Rival Rebels had their time in the spotlight back in the day, but now they've faded into obscurity for the most part. Upkeep on these kinds of things is hard work and a thankless endeavor and not something a lot of people want to do. It turns out that creatives don't want to spend 10 years working on the same project. Who could have thought? But Orspawn is different from those. Other foundational pieces to Minecraft's modding scene like the Aether or the Twilight Forest still have dedicated teams that keep them up to date to this day. Or Spawn is up there with some of the greatest mods ever made, so its disappearance can't just be it slipping through the cracks of time or anything. To see what really happened, we're going to have to look at the long and arduous history of Or Spawn. So many dunks in my closet, don't know what's what. Pointed at his toes, turned his Yeezys into foam runners. Hello, hello, welcome all to my brand new interview show taking place in the dark void where I interview people. On today's episode, Drumroll Please is a low quality PNG of They Call Me Danger, the creator of Or Spawn. Mr. Danger, I have some questions for you. Firstly, uh, why did you create or spawn? MC had just started. My son and I were having so much fun, but then we got bored with the base MC game. There were a few mods out there, but they were so buggy, they just crashed all the time. I figured I could do better and decided to give it a try. I made a few blocks, called them ores, and then tried some crafting to turn them into eggs to spawn creatures. Hence, or spawn. Wow, that's crazy, man. Anyways, scene change! 
Or Spawn was released onto the World Wide Web April 27th, 2013. By the end of the week, 300 people had downloaded it. Not bad. It had already gotten good momentum out the gate, but when a small YouTuber by the name of Popular MMOs, you might have heard of him, uh, made a video talking about some of War Spawn's features, it f***ing exploded. Now, there's a couple reasons for this. Firstly, the video was about the mod's girlfriends. And today we're gonna take a look at the girlfriends from the Orspawn mod. Which is a weird thing to put in there, especially weird to talk about it the way that the creator of Orspawn did. But regardless, it made for good clickbait for the audience of little boys who wanted to play Minecraft mods. Secondly, Orspawn was a huge piece of work and very out there in its design, and some of that showed in the video despite not being the focus. New animals, weapons, ores, and so on. So, people naturally gravitated towards the mod and the personality that introduced it to them, which led to them seeing more cool stuff from Orspawn as Pat from popular MMOs kept diving back into it. It- I'm gonna kiss it. I don't really know if I want to kiss you. Don't hop away. I have to- I have to do it. You have a big mouth. I like that. Once popular MMOs videos on Orspawn started to take off, other Minecraft YouTubers began to take notice. Atlantic Craft, Sky Does Minecraft, and TDM. Hey, how's it going? I've actually got something for you. This is the bread that you asked me to get, and you can now go make me a sandwich. Back in the day, if you wanted to watch people play Minecraft on YouTube, you would end up watching them play with Orspawn. So, how do you feel about the overnight success of Orspawn? It was really a blast. It went immediately to my head and I became a stuck-up little asshole for a while. Then I looked at myself and I was disgusted. I got over it. Oddly enough, nobody ever invited me to anything. I was very confused. I loved watching the YouTube videos, but why did no one ever ask me to join them? Ah, well. So, with millions of eyes on his project, possibly the biggest audience on the internet at the time, and the weight of a now revered piece of Minecraft blooming modding scene on his hands, Danger had some heavy pressures on his shoulders. What would you do if you were him? Well, they call me Danger. Pulled the plug on Orspawn. They Call Me Danger originally said that he ended development due to issues with Minecraft and Forge, the program that lets Minecraft mods work, but later he cited changes in the Minecraft End User License Agreement for his cancellation. The Minecraft EULA is what made me stop. When MC was part of Mojang, you could do whatever you want to do with your mod and your content. Mojang made no claims to it and allowed anyone and everyone to create content and monetize it if they wanted. When MS bought them, they changed the EULA. You no longer owned your content. <coughs> MS did. And you were not allowed to monetize it either. You created the content, but MS had all the rights and could do whatever they wanted with it. Objection! What I think Danger is referencing is in this section of the end user license agreement called What You Can and Can't Do with Minecraft Software and Content. There's a line that claims that modified versions of Minecraft fall under the list of things Mojang owns, which, yeah, sure, could be read the way Danger does if you stretch it. But, if you happen to scroll down to the next section of the EULA, titled Using Mods, you can see the line, any mods you create for Minecraft Java Edition from scratch belong to you and you can do whatever you want with them as long as you don't sell them for money slash try to make money from them and so long as you don't distribute modded versions of the game. So no, Danger, Mojang wasn't going to rob you of all you hold dear, and even if they could steal from Orspawn, I'd imagine that a mod that features Godzilla, Metroid, Naruto, Mario enemies, and objectifying women wouldn't see any official implementation for obvious reasons. Regardless, They Call Me Danger pulled support for Orspawn despite fan cries support to newer versions of Minecraft, and left it rotting on old, dusty versions of the game to be forgotten to time. Well, not... Really. Orspawn wasn't entirely dead, just dead on Minecraft. On November 16th, 2014, They Call Me Danger posted a video to his YouTube channel titled A Brand New World, where he showed off a made-from-scratch 3D renderer that used Orspawn's assets. This video would mark the end of Danger's time with Minecraft, as he never posted about the game after this again. About a month later, a blog post went up on his website showing off the first few weeks of progress on his new game, made with that renderer. This was the new home for Orspawn. They Call Me Danger called it Danger Zone. And get an extreme torch, go to the dragon dimension, and uh, yeah, gear up and get ready for the fight of your life, because... 
Whammo. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Well, yeah. Yeah, you get blasted into just a little platform. <laughs> For a while, Danger Zone kept a small audience. It would never be as big as Ore Spawns because it was no longer tied to Minecraft, but it had its fans. It was mostly either diehard Ore Spawn fans or modders who wanted to give Danger Zone a shot. There were some weird updates here and there. Danger Zone even got a port to VR, so if you like Minecraft ripoffs and motion sickness, there's finally a game for you. Fast forward six years. Things started getting interesting in 2020, really interesting, when out of nowhere an update appears on the Danger Zone website that's not for Danger Zone. Or Spawn is being updated. Yes, for real, not kidding. It is time. After so long, Or Spawn is getting updated to newer versions of Minecraft. The prayers of thousands of Planet Minecraft users will finally be answered after half a decade of danger ignoring their pleas. A Discord server pops up for fans to discuss the new update, and a GoFundMe to help fund development for the update shows up as well. However, as time went on, there were some troubling signs. In December, oh, Danger took down off. the Orspawn Discord and posted links to three more, posting on his website to boycott the service. It's a bully pulpit, he writes. Scroll down a bit and you see a legal threat about a Discord user named Katara. Who's Katara? Hello and welcome to my presentation on the Katara Saga. Katara was a developer for an Orspawn port called AdventureCraft that began development during Orspawn's 1.12 revival. Porting Orspawn to newer versions of Minecraft is often a risky business because Danger has publicly stated many times that he doesn't want Orspawn ported by anyone under any circumstances. They call me Danger really cannot stand Orspawn ports, he's cease and desisted multiple of them throughout the years, and AdventureCraft would be no different. This time, though, he didn't go for a cease and desist, he opted to actively destroy the reputation of the AdventureCraft team. They Call Me Danger claimed that AdventureCraft had stolen multiple assets from Orspawn. Danger's also trying to make money off of Orspawn, which is part of the reason why he doesn't like ports existing. He wants to make money, and he thinks that ports will stop him from making money, because people will just go to the free versions of Orspawn instead of paying for his version. Things got ugly between the Orspawn team and the AdventureCraft team very quickly. After Danger claimed that Katara stole work from Orspawn, Katara leaked the dev build of Orspawn for 1.12 that was only supposed to be accessible to certain premium members. To try and get Katara back, Danger posts a request on his website asking people to gather and leak info about Katara's personal life. He openly referred to this as doxing, but later backpedaled because he realized that admitting to doing a crime would be a bad look for him. That didn't stop Danger's mod team from finding and leaking Katara's name, email address, and personal social media accounts. Things went south after this. Quick. Danger got fed up with his Discord accounts getting banned and people bothering him over when the update was coming out and not making enough money from his crowdfunding campaign, saying that people were being too stingy with their money. Hey, I'm in the editing bay right now. I couldn't find any video or photo evidence of this quote actually coming from Danger. Uh, I've heard it in multiple accounts of the story, but I imagine that it wasn't actually from Danger and it just came from... Someone, somewhere, as many things on the internet do. That's all. And he dipped, basically. In April 2021, he posted an update to his site titled Good Riddance Discord, where he stomped his feet a bit that people got mad at him over all of this and canceled the update officially. Meanwhile, Danger Zone continued to be a 5 out of 10. Through devs logs posted on YouTube, the original vision for Orspawn seemed a bit lost. There's some weird political blogs, like this one about Nicki Minaj. Find my new most favoritist person in the whole damn world, Nicki Minaj. Oh man, I loved this girl since the first day I set eyes on her. And now I know why. Little Miss Free Speech herself. There's also this one about liberals. That's what I've been doing this week, spawning whiners, making them die. Is 
Something is confusing. Oh, privilege. Different opinions are wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah. You yeah. microaggressions. Oh. And there's also one about... <sighs> Sorry, hold on, just... There's some... Uh, I just want to double check what I wrote here is right. You, right there. Yeah, you. Basic white boy. Yeah, you. Everybody's knocking on you these days. You are the one that built the greatest civilization on the planet. You, uh, yeah, bad news people. Uh, the vaxxed have come to danger zone. And uh, Dr. Fauci, yeah, you don't even deserve a spot in the game because I just, I, I can't, that you're just, you're too evil for, uh, for, for danger zone. So yeah, that's what happened to Oris Spawn. A lot of things happened to it. The creator fell out of love with it, forgot about it, moved on, and then when he tried to bring it back, it was only done out of greed and lust for his old popularity. So when it's all said and done, I'd say no. Beauty didn't kill the beast. It was an old white guy named Dick Clark.